So the last couple of weeks I've been working on trying to tick off some of the remaining achievements before the next pack comes out. I don't spend a huge amount of time achievement hunting, but um, since I'm getting close to the end, it would be nice to just get them all done before Unicorn Pack releases. And uh, one of the requests on the previous video was to get Gazelle and Akapi at the same time. Now, obviously we're gonna need to do that in custom packs, and those two pets are probably among the least used pets in the whole of customs out of the 240 something, maybe it's 250 something now. I probably see Gazelle more often than Okapi because people definitely play money builds fairly regularly, but usually it just tends to be um, Manta, Swan, uh, Weasel, and then Bird of Paradise later on, and Gazelle is fairly irrelevant. There are other ways to get lots of stats early, and they're not temporary stats. And um, I think players in general don't tend to play the pets that, uh, especially in the early game, have temporary stats, other than um, maybe Hatching Chick. You know, you don't see Dog all that often, although definitely you see it more than uh, Okapi and Gazelle. Um, so here I actually end up having to take two of the golden pack default money build um, pets, the weasel and the magpie. And I did actually, prior to this run, I had many attempts trying to use swan. The issue with swan is that it will only work with gazelle if it has higher attack because the swan needs to uh, get the gold first before the gazelle actually uh, triggers its ability. And uh, it's very difficult to maintain that, especially since you're incentivized to um, beef up the gazelle and make uh, extra use of those temporary stats. So here we get some um, uh, health from the pill bug, and we're going to use the betta fish to give the gazelle a bit more of a baseline. The magpie is just hanging around until such time as we can uh, start buying uh, avocados. Um, and that will uh, boost the effectiveness of the gazelle without us needing to actually keep uh, pets like magpie around. And here we're going to scrape a 1 HP win with a 4 squad, which is nice. And the gazelle, because we leveled up the weasel, is getting a little bit uh, of extra stats per turn. Now we just need um, a level up. And there's an avocado. Unfortunately, the conserving gold with the magpie does mean that we don't have those extra rolls that we're... <laughs> looking to uh, help us find Okapi in the first place, um, but then also uh, beef up the stats on the Okapi itself. And I suppose Okapi is probably a much more niche synergy, uh, you know, the rolling pets, there aren't that many of them. Although we do know that one is coming in the uh, unicorn pack, that's been revealed already. Um, I'll put it on screen in the corner, the uh, Yeti is going to um, roll the shop. But other than Okapi itself, we've got uh, Marmoset, which I guess it, it does provide uh, free rolls, but it doesn't really last that long. You know, you get one use from it. And then the other one would be a uh, Hamster, which uh, I did try that as well. I can't remember if I get Hamster in this run or not, but there were definitely runs where I was trying to incorporate Hamster as well. However, when you go down that route, it does mean that you end up with an entire team of pets whose, uh, whose value is either generating gold or um, gaining stats in the shop phase. And yes, gold pets are good, and uh, having stats is good as well, but really, in the kind of hostile environment of customs, you're much better off putting those stats onto units that can take extra advantage of them beyond just the stats themselves. And so we're, we're really gonna be trying to get by on just stats. I can't remember what the, uh, the other units are at the end of this, so I guess we'll discover that together. But uh, here's a summon team with shark and whale and deer. Uh, but I think the gazelle's um, temporary stats are going to be good enough. And now that we're on uh, turn nine, we can take the level up. And most of the time here, I was fishing for a bird of paradise, obviously. Um, I suppose uh, macaque was another option because that does work with the uh, four squad and being able to buy sell um, you know, with uh, Bird of Paradise as well. But since we have um, Okapi and Gazelle, that would also mean selling the Weasel. So we wouldn't have uh, extra gold every turn. And maybe I do end up selling the Weasel in this. I, I can't remember, but 
we're taking the uh, hammerhead now that we've got the Akapi to level 3. And if you didn't know, when uh, Akapi levels up, the triggers reset. So if you've already rolled five times, you can then roll another five times. Uh, which, which means you end up with an awful lot of temporary stats and then it's kind of uh, coming back down to earth the next turn when you see the actual stat line. And uh, here we're going to get uh, destroyed by this fire ant team. Not really surprising, but that's actually going to be our first heart lost. Uh, Gazelle is getting uh, an awful lot of stats. Um, with Unfortunately, I think here the hammerhead is probably the same story where uh, as Swan, it's going to activate um, too late for the Gazelle to actually benefit from it. But uh, buying the avocados does make a huge amount of difference. And I'm looking to set up for uh, Bird of Paradise again, I guess. I'm not sure why I was upset with the shop there. Maybe it was just because it gave me a whole bunch of uh, tier 1 and 2s or something like that. But we end up uh, getting through this team. Thankfully, they didn't have any melon or uh, lemon or anything like that. Of course, we do need the chocolates and the blobfish in order to level three both of our um, our carry units. And am I thinking about selling the weasel? I think now that I have the uh, ha hammerhead, the weasel is um, is only really relevant for the uh, the gazelle because we're still going to be able to um, activate the Bird of Paradise a whole load of times if we manage to find one. Maybe we aren't going to find one. I don't remember this run all that clearly. Definitely was tunnel visioning onto uh, trying to find Bird of Paradise. So I guess we're taking Alpaca now. And I'm clearly um, thinking long and hard about getting rid of the weasel. And there's a chocolate, but we are going to pass it up because we already have the two level threes. And there's an oyster. So I think melon okapi. Okay, we're going to save the uh, oyster for one more turn and freeze the avocado as well. I guess if we have a ton of gold from the hammerhead, it increases the odds of finding oyster. Uh, find, I was about to say finding oysters. I mean, finding uh, avocados. And therefore, the weasel maybe is surplus of requirements. So, but yeah, you can see the difference there. The gazelle only got up to, uh, you know, the stats on the gazelle are very poor compared to the previous turn. I actually gave up on the alpaca. And here you can see what happens in these late turns where you start uh, actually spending the gold. The, um, the okapi ends up not having, uh, you know, any rolls to actually scale its uh, stats. So the, both the okapi and the gazelle have much poorer stats this turn. And it's really strange to be in a situation where you're spending a lot of gold, um, but your team is actually getting worse on that turn. Although here, actually, we end up facing this uh, very weak um, Toad team, and it's a 1 HP loss. So I think uh, maybe if I'd managed that shop phase a little bit better, we would have been okay. Yeah, so now we're at a point where I'm willing to sell the Weasel. And we're going to have to try and uh, make a bit of a, a comeback here because our team has fallen off massively and we have nothing but stats. <laughs> I think here what I'm trying to do is get the Bird of Paradise to level 2 and then at that point I will be able to um, buy an ability pet to put into the fourth slot and yeah, we're just going to buy avocados to try and keep the gazelle's uh, stats as high as possible while we try and stabilize and actually get some permanent stats onto the team. So there's a chocolate. I think I can just abandon the blobfish now. Buy, sell, stoat. And buy, sell, uh, chinchilla as well. And then just buy something. Okay, we're going to take avocado. Am I going to go for level 3 bird of paradise here? I don't think so. Probably not necessary. Because with the extra um, stats that we get on Gazelle and Akapi every turn, it's probably not going to take too long to get to 50-50 uh, with them anyway. Here we're just going to get destroyed by level 3 Spinosaurus on turn 13. And uh, they don't have any money pets in sight, so a little bit uh, surprised to see that. But here we do get the avocado and the melon, which is probably worth putting on the... Um, Hammerhead. And yeah, 
Turtle doesn't really do a whole lot. I guess it could uh, replace a melon that gets sniped. And luckily there, the Bird of Paradise didn't hit the um, uh, the octopus. I'm just searching now to try and find uh, any ability pet, uh, in battle ability pet that could potentially uh, help the team. I'm not even sure what was in the pack, but um, we'll take the puppy for the uh, weakness. And yeah, anglerfish is a possibility to try and steal something from an opponent. Um, but I think maybe, am I going to take garlic? Okay. Maybe I end up running a four squad in this. I, uh, <laughs> it's not been that long since I recorded it, but um, clearly I don't have the best memory of this uh, particular game. And we end up, yeah, the weakness uh, does uh, a job there. Maybe it actually didn't matter. My microphone is kind of blocking the screen, so sometimes it's difficult to see what's happening. And there we go, we find the reindeer. So finally a unit that could actually um, change the course of a battle with its ability. We'll put eggplant on it as well since it, it uh, doesn't really have any need for other equipment. Buy another um, avocado. And then we'll just, for and while we're um, still trying to search for the last win, we're just going to keep um, buying every food item we can for the reindeer. And here's another um, money build uh, food uh, four squad. But um, yeah, it was very close actually there, despite them having multiple 50 50 units. Um, so the gazelle hits 50 50 with the temporary stats. So we're basically free to just buy every. Um, lasagna and uh, chicken leg directly onto the reindeer in the hopes that it will potentially survive um, a 50-50 unit attacking it. We don't quite get there. 26 health. We needed uh, 31 there. But the next team is a Jerboa Worm team, so they don't have uh, any 50-50 units at this stage. And the Okapi and uh, Gazelle level 3 combo gets the win. Not the best team I've ever fielded, uh, nor the most interesting, but it was a little bit of a, a unique challenge trying to get both of them in the same run. So I'll quickly uh, update the achievements board. So if we just show only the ones I don't have. There were a couple of others unlocked in recent videos. I got uh, Puma. Now Hawk there, I did manage to get that one recently as well. I'm, I'll include that at the end of another video but you can see all the other ones I'm missing if there's anything in particular you want to request.